for the channel. Just a really quick update. Um, so this is what I'm using now um, for the Dubia roaches along with my um, dry roach chow. Um, they do really like this as well. Uh, the dry just kind of gives them another uh, option. Let me show you what that looks like. That's that down there that I have my own blend. Um, I'm gonna get to those right now in a minute, but here's what I wanted to talk about. Just got in some horticultural uh, charcoal, organic. Um, want to uh, do some more uh, springtails. Um, so, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on, that's a springtail um, culture right there. The one underneath it is also, the other one just has uh, the um, uh, bran in it, the wheat bran. Um, this is another springtail uh, culture that I just started. I'm gonna reseed some more of it. And then this is my baby. That's my, I um, can't really see it right now. I'm gonna take it out. Uh, this is my master culture right here. This has, I, I don't even know. It it's got thousands of springtails in there right now. So um, this is an empty can. I'm gonna use that, cleaned it out a while ago. I'm gonna use that to put some of the horticultural charcoal in it. And then I'm most likely gonna end up moving this one um, into the big one right there and just kind of get a, a bigger culture going. So I can make that the master, make that another master, and then just continue to uh, seed other cultures so that I can eventually uh, reseed this and get this uh, uh, going on a little bit more. As you can tell from my last update video, um, I had the um, basil and the mint plant. Well, he ate everything off the mint plant and the basil he didn't really care for. Um, I was trying to keep it alive, but as you can tell, I don't have much of a great layer of substrate down, so. Um, but everything else is okay. Um, my succulents are okay. Uh, fed him some uh, collard greens this morning. Um, so he still has some of that. Gave him some uh, super worms as well. Um, only do about maybe uh, two, um, two or three a day. And then obviously that's my Dubia roach set up down there. Um, it's about to turn off because I do keep it at 95. It's almost back up before it turns off. Um, and my feeders up here can't really see in there right now but those are my breeders down there feeders isopods are in here trying to get them going um i moved them out of a smaller one just trying to give them a little bit more space so that they can breed and so you know uh cork bark is in there some leaf litter a triple a spag moss as well as um got some palm uh, palm tree bark in there as well. I don't think you can really see it though or anything like that. I'm holding the baby That's why I'm not really getting into anything right now. There's panther just to show you he's chilling right now Pretty close to his basking spot, but he's just kind of hanging out down here right now um, So he's been if You can see I'm gonna kind of swing back around here. This is what he's been doing. He's been sleeping in this corner He dug it out yesterday and then he gets right up and behind that leaf and kind of curls up and just does that right there. Here's a better shot of Panther. He's just kind of chilling right now. But yeah, guys, um, here's the tank. It's looking pretty um, dull at the moment. Um, I haven't really added much to it lately. My elephant bush is kind of over here in the corner, not doing great. Um, so I'm thinking about going to Home Depot at some point and um, just picking up some more plants and uh, replanting some stuff, uh, ordering some more from uh, the bio dudes to getting some more uh, Terra Sahara substrate and kind of putting down some more, probably only need about a, a six quart bag there. So, but yeah, really what it was, um, I need to also do something with my bin here. Um, what I want to do is drill holes in the bottom so I can start sorting my Dubia roaches. Um, I do have a ton of uh, smaller feeders in there. So I do wanna get those nymphs out and start um, uh, getting those, um, the males and the females up to more production because they're doing a little bit right now, but it's not much, so. But yeah, guys, that's a little update of what's going on right now. Like I said, I've been using this, the uh, 
Pashi Bug Burger, Burger. Just got that in not too long ago. And I've been putting it in with the isopods, the even the feeders, Dubia roaches, and then obviously the breeders as well. They really like it in the breeder tank. I put a lot in there so that they can, you know, they pretty much usually eat it within 12 hours. So yeah, guys, um, leave me any comments and I'll get back to you guys. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's what I was talking about earlier. Um, here are my four uh, springtail cultures right now. I have a mini one right here. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on. Let me see if I can bring it up to the light. See, I can't really see any activity right now. I was just looking in here and they're, they're starting to kind of populate in there just a little bit. I just seeded that maybe, maybe about two weeks ago. Now here's one I did about a month ago, close to. This one is actually doing really good. So there you can see the activity. Now this goes throughout the entire culture. Um, as you can tell, this is a different setup than I typically have. Um, horticultural charcoal. I have some AAA sphagnum moss. At the bottom, I actually have some Terra Sahara. Um, just uh, substrate in there as well as some leaf litter as you can see on the side as well. Just a different kind of setup. Just to kind of see, kind of test some theories and see how things do. But um, here's one of them. Here's my master. Um, you can kind of see on the sides, actually. Even just, you can see on the sides. You just see there's, 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 there's tons in here. Let me see if I can get this top off. I'm gonna pause this, hold on. That's a delicate procedure with one hand. Uh, so here's the master. Just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. So as you can tell too, I got tons of springtails in here. Just a lot going on as you can see from the sides too. Four. So these are the mediums I'm going to transfer um, more horticultural charcoal into uh, to do the springtails and um, so I can seed more. These are my actual cultures. So yeah, I'm going to do this as soon as possible. Thanks for checking it out, guys.